Hello, my name is John Nagoski, and I'm a native speaker of English from Wisconsin in the USA. I would like to introduce to you my English reading channel with questions and answers. Do you believe in love at first sight? Love at first sight means that you feel an instant connection to another person. Some people describe this as fireworks. Others describe it as moments where nothing else matters around you when you see and talk to each other for the first time. It's the feeling you get when you don't want a moment to end because you feel a connection with another person that you haven't felt before. It's certainly possible to fall in love at first sight. However, you need to be able to take the time after that first meeting to really get to know each other. It's only then that you can figure out if it's a good match or not. English vocabulary. Blunt. Blunt. The meaning, outspoken in an impolite or direct way. To be blunt, your business model is a complete disaster and you'll probably go bankrupt. Blunt. 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 The meaning, not sharp. This knife is too blunt to cut this pumpkin. I should find a sharper one. Blunt. Molasses. Molasses is a thick syrup that people use as a sweetener. It is a byproduct of the sugar making process and it comes from crushed sugar cane or sugar beets. Honey. Honey is a sweet, sticky, yellowish substance that is made by bees. Nectar. Nectar is a sweet liquid produced by flowers and collected by bees and other insects. Molasses, honey, nectar. Fred feared his wife Rhoda wasn't hearing as well as she used to, and he thought she might need a hearing aid. Not quite sure how to approach her, he called the family doctor to discuss the problem. The doctor told him there's a simple informal test the husband could perform to give the doctors a better idea about her hearing loss. Here's what you do, said the doctor. Stand about 40 feet away from her, and in a normal conversational speaking tone, see if she hears you. If not, go to 30 feet, then 20 feet, and so on until you get a response. That evening, the wife was in the kitchen cooking dinner, and he was in the den. He says to himself, I'm about 40 feet away. Let's see what happens. Then in a normal tone, he asks, Honey, what's for dinner? No response. So the husband moves closer to the kitchen, about 30 feet from his wife, and repeats, Rhonda, what's for dinner? Still no response. Next, he moves into the dining room, where he is about 20 feet from his wife, and asks, Honey, what's for dinner? Again, he gets no response. So he walks up to the kitchen door about 10 feet away. Honey, what's for dinner? Again, there is no response. So he walks right up behind her. Rhonda, what's for dinner? Damn it, Fred, for the fifth time, chicken. English quiz. If someone is, they work very hard to be successful. A, anxious. B, ambitious. C, solitary. D, cantankerous. Which one do you think is the correct answer? Commonly confused words. Sight and sight. Sight, the meaning, a place or location. There are many famous sights in New York City. Sight, the meaning, the ability to see. I used binoculars to enhance my sight at the top of the mountain. Binoculars are tubes with glass lenses used to see objects that are far away more clearly. 
Happiness is a table covered in good food and surrounded by great friends. Be thankful for today because in the blink of an eye, your entire life can change. Blink of an eye means very quickly in a very short period of time. Be thankful for today because in the blink of an eye, your entire life can change. A mom visits her son for dinner who lives with a girl as a roommate. During his meal, the mother couldn't help but notice how pretty his roommate was. She had long been suspicious of a relationship between the two, and this had only made her more curious. Over the course of the evening, while watching the two interact, she started to wonder if there's more between him and his roommate. Reading his mom's thought, his son volunteered, I know what you must be thinking, but I assure you, we are just roommates. About a week later, his roommate came to him, saying, Ever since your mother came to dinner, I've been unable to find the silver plate. You don't suppose your mother took it, do you? He said, well, I doubt it, but I'll email her just to be sure. He sat down and wrote, Dear Mom, after you visited me, the silver plate has been missing. I'm not saying that you did take the silver plate from my house, and I'm not saying that you didn't take it, but the fact remains that it has been missing ever since you were here for dinner. Love, your son. Several days later, he received an email from his mother which read, Dear son, I'm not saying that you do sleep with your roommate, and I'm not saying that you don't sleep with her, but the fact remains that if she was sleeping on her own bed, she would have found the silver plate by now, under her pillow. Love, Mom. English Idiom Money Talks Money Talks The Meaning Rich People Can Get What They Want He Can't Act so how did he get the part in the movie? His father is a millionaire. Money talks. English quiz. If someone has a, they have an unusually strong liking or need for a particular object or activity. A, fetish. B, feather. C, fiddle. D, fossil. Which one do you think is the correct answer? English idiom. Driving me nuts. Driving me nuts. The meaning. To be greatly frustrated or annoyed. All these phone calls are driving me nuts. It drives me nuts seeing all these people just staring at their phones all day long. Driving me nuts. Happiness is something that people are always looking for. When most people talk about the true meaning of happiness, they might be talking about how they feel in the present moment or referring to a more general sense of how they feel about life overall. Happiness is an emotional state characterized by feelings of joy, satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment. While happiness has many different definitions, it is often described as involving positive emotions and life satisfaction. Happiness is something that people are always looking for. When most people talk about the true meaning of happiness, they might be talking about how they feel in the present moment or referring to a more general sense of how they feel about life overall. Happiness is an emotional state characterized by feelings of joy, satisfaction, contentment, and fulfillment. While happiness has many different definitions, it is often described as involving positive emotions and life satisfaction.